Hi, good morning peeps. Time now is about 20 past six. I haven't quite mastered packing up yet. Um, and packing up a wet tent is just, it's not very nice at all. Perhaps I should be less impatient and uh, wait for the sun to come up a little bit more um, and let the tent dry. Anyway, so today just leaving uh, Corehampton Farm um, where I camped last night. Uh, I've got about a mile, 1.3 miles before I get back to get back onto the trail. So uh, that's always a bummer, isn't it? When you've got to do an extra trek before you actually get any trail miles. Um, looking at gut hooks, I think it's going to be about uh, 18 miles today. My pack feels really heavy, but actually I, I don't feel sore. My feet are fine, my legs are fine. Um, got a little bit of chafing on my hip, so I put a plaster on that, should be fine. I'm right next to a rose, but I'm, the rose is just down there. Um, but really nice views this morning so far. Right, I'll check in with you later. Right, if you ever needed a bit of motivation, that's my next stop. So cafe's in three miles, uh, and that's when I'm going to take off all my gear, get my tent out as well, perhaps air that and stop for about, I don't know, a good half an hour, maybe 40 minutes or so, having a nice coffee. I've got waterproof socks on because the dew was making my feet wet this morning, uh, but now the sun's come out. Let me just show you these views. Hold on a second, it's amazing. Just made it to the top of Winchester Hill. Yesterday was uh, Beacon Hill, today Winchester Hill. Oh my god, I'm knackered. <laughs> that is a real tough one. There's little notes everywhere saying that birds are nesting. There's birds everywhere, which is great. Uh, but probably one of the best things is the views from this top. Uh, hold on a second, let me see if I can show you. Probably just doesn't do it justice, uh, but it is rather amazing. So time now is about quarter past eight and I've done nearly six miles so I'm well ahead of schedule today which is great. Um, just having a quick break at the top of Winchester Hill, viewing the stunning views, absolutely amazing. Um, and then I'm going to go, the next cafe is like 1.8 miles which is at Mion Springs which sounds delightful. So uh, yeah I'm going to have a quick break there and uh, I should hopefully, I have my tent there as well so hopefully get that a bit dry. So uh, yeah, it's going to take a couple more minutes and I'll be on my way again. Okay, so we're now on our way to Mion Springs, which is where the cafe is. And it is that way. I thought I'd get away with this one today, but no, come on, let's do it. So they're all running in the opposite direction. Ah, I think the uh, farmer must have just arrived. Hey, that was a result. <laughs> Look what I just did, I had to come through that. Freaking scary. Making my stick. No, 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 no. So I uh, just had a quick break, I say a quick break, I was probably there about 40 minutes because I needed to dry my tent 
um, down at Mion Springs. Um, it's a fly fishing place. Everyone is so lovely. It's just a pound donation for the coffee. So I had a couple of cups of coffee and uh, yeah, just chilled out for 40 minutes or so. Uh, recharged the batteries and I'm off again. So uh, next place is probably about five miles. So I've got a bit of a trek now. Right, see you later. Oh my God. That's a place called Buster Hill. And uh, I thought Winchester Hill was a bit steep, but oh my God, that was really steep. But look at these views. I think the umbrella is going to have to come out because I think a mix of that hill plus it being so hot. I don't know what the heat is now. I don't know what that is, but <sighs> really hard work. I know I look ridiculous, but um, I'm absolutely shattered. My foot is killing me. Um, about six weeks or so ago, I rolled my ankle, and I don't know if I've torn something, but it's swollen up like a good one. Um, so I'm just sitting on a bench, literally about half a mile from Bereton. Uh, I can keep going on the South Downs Way, or I can make my way into the village, and I'm half thinking that's probably what I'm going to do. So, uh, yeah. Just need to have a rest. I've had quite a few breaks today as well, so uh, uh, we'll see. Hey, my home for this evening. End of day two. So just watched the England match at the Five Bells in Breton. Keep off the grass and look, there's my little tent. How cool is that?